Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are a game developer, 3D artist, or just someone who loves getting free high quality assets, you're going to want to stick around for this one. Epic Games is back at it again with their Unreal Engine 5 free asset drops, and this time we're diving into the second half of March's free assets. As always, Epic is giving away not one, not two, but three amazing asset packs absolutely free. And here's the kicker, the total value of all the free assets we're getting is over a thousand dollars. That's right, over a grand worth of premium content, and it's all yours for the taking. So in this video I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about these second half March drops. We'll take a closer look of what's inside each pack, how you can use them to elevate your projects, and why you should grab them before they're gone. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on this. Whether you're building a game, creating a cinematic, or just experimenting with Unreal Engine 5, these assets are a absolute gold mine. From detailed environments ready to use, characters, and props, there's something here for everyone. And also don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell so you never miss out on these free asset updates and without further ado let's jump right in and see what epic has in store for us this time all right so the first asset pack that we have here is this desert town environment so basically this is a western desert town so you can see we have sort of the saloon over here and this church building i'm going to go ahead and full screen this so you guys can get a better look of everything but as you can see this thing is actually pretty well detailed you can look down on the ground and we have sort of these tracks these road tracks in the dirt but the nice thing about this asset pack is there are a bunch of different buildings different varieties so you see we have this little bar over here and then we have of course the old western saloon over here is sort of like the porch and we have of course some wanted signs and then over here it looks like we have some more different types of buildings we have this law office and we can go up the street things like this old water tower we have a gun store Looks like we have a telegraph post. So yeah, just a unique variety of different buildings. And you can see the pathway sort of leads on over there. Let's go ahead and go all the way back into the village. And we'll just keep running through here. You can see that they have this telephone wire spline. So we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, they have fresh foods and goods over here. So you can see we have things like sacks of potatoes. Now the only downside to this asset pack is that it does not come with any building interiors so unfortunately you cannot enter into any of the buildings and the buildings don't have any actual inside modeling that's the only downside that i can see with this asset pack we have a little cave and a mine there but if we exit out here into the editor you can see all the different splines that come in this asset pack so you can see it actually comes with this cool minecart spline Unfortunately, it is a little dark, so I'm going to pop into the unlit mode to give you guys a better look. But as you can see, this thing actually goes throughout this cave. This whole minecart system is pretty neat. So definitely check this one out. Kind of reminds you of Minecraft with all the tunneling system. But yeah, let's go ahead and pop right out to the main town. But like I said, none of the buildings come with interiors. So if you see, I pop into the buildings if I clip inside. You can see that they are completely empty and there's, you know, no door or entrance. But check this out. We have this cool little crane. Looks like this is where they load the rocks from the minecarts. So pretty neat and detailed little town here. Let's go ahead and check out the asset showcase. Okay, so here's the asset showcase level. So we're going to check out all the assets that come included. So you can see these are sort of the tiny props like a pickaxe, hatchet, saw, we have some cowboy boots over there, cowboy hat, a couple of benches, some barrels, we have this bell. You can see we have the water tower, windmill. Okay, over here we have some piles of rock. Looks like we have some gold pieces or gold rocks. Okay, some larger pieces of rock. You can see we have this firewood over here. Some of these smaller different props like barrels, pots, and sacks of potatoes. Okay, over here is this really detailed crane. I always love these highly detailed wooden structures where you can see all the mechanical pieces. Okay, so we have some of the modular building pieces. So it looks like these are all split up into modular pieces. And of course, some of the building blueprints. So these are sort of like the prefab buildings that you have to pick from. And then over here are some of the different pieces, some of the scraps that were inside of the mine. So yeah, here's a blueprint cave modules. So I believe this comes with some sort of blueprint cave that you can generate. So that's actually pretty neat. And of course, some of the mountain pieces. So yeah, those are all the assets that come included in this pack. 
All right, and before we dive into the next asset pack, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about something that I've been working on and I'm super excited to share with you. If you've ever wanted to create your own multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5, I got something just for you. I put together a comprehensive step-by-step -step course that walks you through the entire process of building a multiplayer survival game from scratch. We're talking everything from setting up your project, creating gameplay mechanics, implementing multiplayer functionality, and even optimizing your game for performance. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, this course is designed to help you level up your skills and bring your game ideas to life. And the best part, you'll have access to all the project files so you can follow along and use them in your own projects. If this sounds like something you'd be interested, check out the link in the description to learn more and enroll in the course. Trust me, this is the perfect way to take your Unreal Engine 5 skills to the next level. All right, let's get back to the free assets. Okay, so next up we have this Gaia Asset Pack that's from Kitbash 3D. Now, the very unfortunate thing about any of the Kitbash assets is that they do not come with a showcase level. So unfortunately, if you actually download this asset pack, you're not going to have a level that has all the assets neatly organized and laid out for you. So what I did was I actually have a blueprint sorter tool so I can drag all the assets in the level and it will automatically sort them for me and lay them out like what you see in this video. But yeah, unfortunately, they don't have a asset showcase level, which I honestly think should be a requirement for posting your asset on fab. But yeah, so here is one of the buildings. Basically, this is sort of like a wooden fantasy building styled asset pack. So you can see sort of the designs of these buildings. They incorporate a lot of these curves and you can see all the wooden structures are tied together with these ropes. Kind of looks like everything was made out of this you know, bamboo material. I really honestly love the design, but unfortunately, there's a couple of drawbacks, which I'll get to in a bit. But yeah, you can see this is what the interior looks like. So yeah, one of the drawbacks, as you can see, is this side of the mesh is not rendered. There isn't another side. So if you're trying to make this as an interior for a game, you're going to have to fix some of those issues. A lot of the kit bash kits are honestly made more towards or geared towards uh, films and cinematics just because of the way how things are set up in the asset packs but honestly i love all the designs of their kits i just wish that they would upgrade them to be you know set up and hassle free for game development so yeah this looks like some sort of weird wooden cage structure okay next up this next building over here is also pretty interesting we have sort of like these tables this kind of looks like a cafe or something they have this really big building. Okay, so here's the entrance over here. We'll check and see what the interior looks like. Again, you can see, you know, it doesn't really have an interior there, but that is that building over there. This one kind of looks like the front of a ship. So yeah, pretty interesting design. And then we have another larger building. You can see that we have a staircase that goes up to this balcony level. But yeah, I'm going to Kind of give my overall thoughts on this towards the end. There's quite a bit of different buildings. So you can see this one has a pretty unique design. You have like these towers and we have this bridge that sort of connects them together, which is pretty neat. So you can see that they have this sort of cloth. I love the bamboo pieces. I love this sort of style where they have them, you know, tied together with these different rope pieces. It kind of looks like everything was handcrafted by some sort of, you know, village. So it's very unique in a sense of, you know, the design. Definitely have to give props to the modelers and, you know, concept artists. So yeah, here's another different structure, pretty unique building. And then we have sort of like the staircase. Okay, then we have this building over here that sort of has these two overhanging arches. I don't really know how to describe some of these buildings. So they have these sphere pieces on the bottom there. We have some more staircases that kind of go up into this area. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about these assets down in the comments down below. I know some folks aren't too fond of the Kitbash 3D uh, asset packs. Uh, typically these things will run you back, I think $200 for a you know regular license. So a standard license and then for a professional license, I think they range up to an upwards of $700 to $800. So yeah, don't quote me on that. So I think those are regular prices, but but yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about these down in the comments down below. Let's go another different building design. A lot of unique designs. So it's very nice to see that 
They don't have just the same exact design copy and pasted. They have, you know, different architecture pieces, which is really nice because you can make like a whole city with this. So yeah, check out this one. This one has a unique spiral staircase that goes all the way up to this observation level. So yeah, we have a couple more buildings left. So let's just go ahead and check these ones out real quick. Okay, another simple building over here. Little outpost right there. So these are kind of just the smaller style buildings. Okay, another large observational tower. Have some banners over there. Okay, some smaller outposts. A nice little deck. Okay, another different style of outposts. This one has some unique banners. Okay, there's another one. And this one has this open deck area. Gotta love the little carpet designs over here and the props that they place inside of them. So these are all uh, blueprints. So all the props in here are sort of like these prefab buildings that you can just drag and drop. So you can very easily create like a city. But those are all the different building types. You can see there's quite a bit of them. And over here, there's a couple of smaller buildings. So you can see this is like a little gazebo. They have sort of like this tower, some smaller buildings that we didn't see earlier. Okay, and then sort of like this cylinder shaped building. Okay, and over here are some of the different props that come included. So basically all the props that we saw already are all included. They can all be separated from the blueprint. They come as separate meshes, but these are just some of the other ones that are blueprints. Okay, so those are all the assets from this Gaia pack. And honestly, my overall thoughts on these assets is, you know, the big unfortunate part is they don't come with a showcase level, which honestly I think should be a requirement for any asset pack that is on fab. And another big downside is I don't think any of these come with actual collision meshes. So if we're going to actually use this in a game, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. So if I actually show you guys the player collision, you can see that, yeah, nothing is really set up here for your game. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these assets down in the comments down below. Is this something that you would be using? And if so, what type of Unreal Engine project are you going to be using these for? I really love the detail in these assets. It's just a shame that it's not completely ready for you to slap in your game. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. And of course, the last asset pack that we have here is this sci-fi hover vehicle asset pack. So if I hit play in this demo level, I'm gonna go ahead and show you basically what comes included. So all of these sci-fi hover tanks, along with this really neat showcase level. So I'm actually not controlling anything as uh, moving the camera around for us. So you can see we have sort of like these hover tanks with turrets. This one has crates on it. Okay, so if I actually press C, I can focus onto the vehicles to give you guys a better look. So yeah, you can see it comes with these particle effects, these lights. Okay, let's check out another one. This is another hover tank. You can see they come with different color designs, camel patterns. Okay, this is another tank. Here's one of the sort of green patterns floating over here. And the neat thing about this is I can actually pop out of the free cam. So I'll give you guys a look at these tanks, but it comes with a playable level. So let's go ahead and actually check out the playable level. So in the maps, yeah, they have quite a bit of maps, which is nice. So let's go ahead and open up this playground map. And if we press one, we can control the tank. So you can see we can actually control the tank, which is cool. It comes with a pre-made hover tank blueprint and you can fire the gun by using the left mouse button. And we can switch over here to this gun. Neat thing about this is you blast it and it can actually do physics impacts. So you can see if you shoot another hover tank, it kind of launches it back. So let's try and aim at this one over here. So yeah, you can see I can shoot, spam it at that hover tank and we can push it back. So yeah, it's pretty neat. They have these different gun turrets that come included. We can shoot at these cubes. Okay, so we have WASD to control. We have I to invert view switch. So if you want to switch to the view of the turret, sort of like a camera mounted onto the turret itself. But yeah, there's a lot of unique hover tanks that come in this project. And honestly, I didn't even expect that it'd come with a complete playable blueprint. So that's always something that's nice to include. It'd be nice if they had some sort of, you know, AI that you could fight. But honestly, this is quite enough. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can see it has physics on this hover tank and all the stuff. The cargo actually spilled out when I shot it. 
Okay, it looks like we have a different ability. So right click shoots off sort of like this missile, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about these assets in the comments down below. Those are basically all the different hover tanks. I can show you guys some of the different tank variations that come included. But yeah, that pretty much concludes all the free assets that we're getting for this month, the month of March. These are the second half of the month free assets, which means that you have until the end of the month to claim them before they're gone or I guess until March 25th. So definitely go ahead and make sure that you claim them before they're gone. Let me know what you guys think about these assets down in the comments down below, what you're planning on using them for. And as always, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I'll be uploading more asset videos and you definitely don't want to miss out on the next free asset drop. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.